Yo, what's up guys? This is Midnight Wabbit and welcome back to some more Borderlands 3. Today what I have for you guys is another legendary weapons guide. This is another one of the new Mayhem uh, weapons, the higher tier Mayhem weapons. They can only drop on Mayhem 6 and above. And we'll get on, we'll get into how to get it in just a second. But first, let's look at the weapon. Today we have the Plague Bearer. This is a legendary Torg rocket launcher, very similar to, if you remember, the Scourge uh, from the base game. This is basically like a buffed version of the Scourge. Um, it, this thing, it, it's, the red text says, glad you can make it. So, plus 200 splash damage radius, consumes 3 ammo per shot. Now, the Scourge actually consumes 4 ammo per shot, but does less damage than this. So, this is basically an all-around better version of the Scourge. And I believe this thing cannot be non-elemental. Uh, it has the alien barrel there, as you can see, which is pretty cool. A little creepy, but pretty cool. Um, I believe this thing can come in every element, but it cannot be non-elemental, I don't think. I've not seen a non-elemental one yet. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So anyway, let's take a look at the weapon. The weapon fires a... It has a charge-up time, like a mallow one. And it'll fire a big, slow-moving orb with these projectiles that come out around it. And uh, if, the, if the, uh, the large orb hits a surface... It creates a singularity. So you can see right there, it creates a singularity. They'll pull in enemies for a second and kind of stun them, and then it blows up a final time. Now those rockets that come out the side are actually tracking. So if I shoot this above, see the rockets will home in and pretty much destroy everything in their path. What up? Next. And you didn't see that. Anyway. As you can see, this thing has ludicrously high base damage. Uh, this thing... Let's see if I can kill that badass over there. He's dead. He's dead. Badass is still there. Oh, wait. I hit him directly, though. Yeah, two million. He's fucked. <laughs> Alright. Got a legendary over here. Let's take a look. Taylor. Eh. As you can see, this thing is absolutely a monster. Like, if there's a big group of, of mobs or anything like that, I, I'll pretty much just whip this thing out. I call this, like, my plan B. Like, this thing, just 10 million right there. Like, obviously, I'm on Moe's, so it's going to be a little bit... It's going to be insanely strong with the splash damage. But this thing, on Flak, it can crit. On uh, Amara, if you have the right class mod, and then on Zane, uh, you can move faster and deal more damage with it. Uh, this thing is an all-around... I would say this is a must-have for Mayhem. Uh, on no matter what character you play, I would say this is a must-have uh, weapon to have. So let's go take on a boss. We're gonna go fight Captain Tront real quick. And real quick, I actually didn't cover where to get this. That's my bad. Uh, so before we do that, what you want to do to get this thing, you go to Eden Six. You're gonna go to the Anvil, and the guy you're looking for is the Warden. And he and remember, remember to be on Mayhem Six or above for this weapon, guys, or it will not drop. You have to be on Mayhem Six, Seven, Eight, Nine, or Ten. To get this weapon to drop, if you're on 5 or below, the weapon will not exist in-game as a drop. It will not drop. So you're going to spawn here at the anvil. You're going to go all the way through here. And you're going to go all the way to the ending arena over here. This is where you're going to fight the warden. And I'll show you guys the drop real quick. Now, you do spawn, like, right above the warden and you jump down. But just know that it's not you're not It's not going to be, like, an insta-kill type thing. He does have immune phases. So maybe it's a little bit of a longer fight than some of the other bosses. Um... But it's definitely well worth it for this gun. I I think that I've gotten a couple of them and I farmed them maybe 20 times. I think I've gotten two or three. So the drop rate can't be too low. Unless I just got really lucky. But I doubt it. Alright, so we're at Captain Tront. Here we go. Let's go ahead and drop down. I need to use the... I don't have a shock one, unfortunately. Wish I did. I do not have a shock one to take out his shield. All that looks like that'll do just fine, and it actually one-shot him. Didn't even need the fire one. Hmm. Well then. <laughs> Rip. I was planning on swapping to the fire one to kill him, but I guess we didn't need it. Alright. So as you can see, this thing is ludicrously strong. Obviously, Moe's is going to be very strong with the splash damage, but like I said, Flak can make it crit, doing insane amounts of damage, upwards of the millions. Uh, Zane and Amara can move quicker, and uh, making this thing. Uh, Zane, uh, Zane can move quicker, making this thing more effective. So can Amara, but she can also increase its effectiveness. Like I said, I believe it's only elemental, so it'll always have the elemental damage bonuses from Amara. 
which is really which will be really nice to have as well as the movement speed if you have the correct class mod but like i said my only complaint about this thing is the charge up time it's a little long but i feel like it's kind of a fair trade-off with how much damage it does i feel like that's kind of a fair trade-off for it to uh for it to have the charge up time and it only consumes three ammo per shot as opposed to the four ammo per shot of the scourge so pretty much this is a no-brainer if you have one of these and, and okay so let's say you have the same anointment you have the same element and they're the same level this thing is going to out damage the scourge pretty much shot for shot every time the only thing about the scourge that may, that may make it better in the like uh in like spamming wise is because you can actually spam it like this you obviously you can see you, if i click it you can't spam it you have to charge it up to fire but i think this thing will out dps the scourge any day i just the amount of damage this thing puts out is just absolutely insane and after a certain distance so you can see it does auto blow up so it's not, it's not you can't use it for like ridiculously long range targets but like if there's a bunch of enemies in this hallway you could clear them out and just kind of launch it launch it upward and let the homing rockets do all the all the work and you can just this thing is just this this may be one of my new favorite weapons this thing is so fun to use on every character like like i said this is like my plan b if i go down or if there's a big group of enemies and i think i'm in trouble just whip out the uh, plague bearer and there's not much anything to do but anyway hopefully you guys did enjoy the video if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below subscribe if you have not already for more borderlands 3 content let me know what you want to see in terms of legendary guides and stuff uh if you want to see a build guide i'm working on a, a mose build i have i did a of my my best flak build back when it was uh i might do an updated version of that now that we can have actually access to two capstone skills uh the flak build got even better but i've been playing on mose for about a day or two now having a lot of fun uh with the splash damage and stuff so i might make a build video on that uh, let me know if you guys are interested in, and want to see that and if you want to see any certain legendary guides and i can bring that for you guys as well Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Hi, Tyrone.